All right, I'm going to show you how to measure your buck uh, antlers to score the rack. Um, it's pretty, it's somewhat simple um, as long as you're a mathematician. <laughs> um, but uh, the, the measurements you want to do is there's a, there, there's a few of them. You got to measure from the base of the antler all the way around. This is the main beam. And then come to the tip of the antler. Okay, you're going to measure that. And I'm gonna do this and write it down as I'm going along. Okay, so I'm working on, looking at the deer, I'm working on the right side, which is my right, but it's his left. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. That way I'm gonna hold it at the base of the antler. And now one of the scoring, um, one of the scoring um, companies actually said that uh, you wanna use a steel tape. Some people think, oh, why, why don't you use a wire? You know, you can do that, um, but they prefer that you use a steel tape. And I, I believe that it will be a little bit of a, of a accurate measurement to use tape. Um, use the wire. So I'm looking at, right now he's 15 and one fourth. He's 15 and one fourth. So that's not too bad um, on the left main beam. 15 and one, and one fourth on the left. Okay. And then I want to go ahead and measure the points now. You're going to measure the each, each time that's coming off. Here we call it the brow time. I'm going to measure that straight down from the center line um, and I can see that that is two just under a half one two three two and three two two inch two and three eighths all right two and three eighths for the for the um, brow time okay and then the G1, um, you can measure in the inside or the outside, it's your choice, um, but um, it, it's, it's better for me in this angle to measure from the inside. And then I have six and three quarters of an inch. Now I need to, now it says that you should measure it and in eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's six and six eighths. Six and six eighths. Uh, which I know that sounds weird, but that's what the website says. So then I'm gonna go to the the G3. Um, which is, uh, I'm looking at four and one, two, three, four, five. Four and four, five eights. Four and five eights. Four, five eights. Okay. Now, um, yeah, you know, it's it's pretty interesting for this buck. I mean, even being an eight eight pointer, you know, you, most people count this as a point. So you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, which is actually this part of the main beam. Um, so then um, I'm going to go ahead and measure the mass. Which um, this point you really want to use a piece of wire to do that. Um, it will be best. Uh, because it'll it'll be more accurate. So I know that this buck is. I have a piece of wire. You probably can barely see it, but I know that this buck isn't terribly um, has a lot of mass. I know he doesn't have a lot of mass. So I'm just going to use this wire, and then I'll measure the wire. All right, and I can see there. That's where the measurement ends. Right there. So I'll take and measure that wire from that point, and it is, I'll straighten it out, and that is three and a 
half inches, which will be three, uh, three and a half inches. Okay. I don't do math terribly good, so <laughs> I'll put that put the measurements in eighths for that later on. All right. So now I'm going to measure the second, uh, just behind, just in front of the second brown town, the G2. All right. And okay, there we have it. Now I'm gonna measure that one. Once again, put it on your, your ruler there. Get it as straight as possible. And that one's three and one fourth. Okay. Um, three and one fourth. Okay. So I have the one and then I have another one. So I'm gonna measure one more also. Uh, there's three points you measure around the around the base around the G1 and then you measure around the G2 after that You don't need to measure the rest of those um, So And once you get these these measurements you can go online Enter them in and you'll actually they'll give you a scoring According to the measurements that you put in so don't put in like 300 because then they'll they'll be calling you saying you have the new record now <laughs> investigating but here i have three and one eighth a little bit past one eighth um three and one eighth and mass um wow that's going to be pretty good. So you do that for this side, and then you do the same thing, the same measurements for the other side. I'm going to measure the other side, and then I'll get back to you guys when we get on the get on the internet to see what the scoring is. Cool beans.